This is Ajin here and today I'll be showcasing how to build dynamic forms using a React Aztec. React Aztec internally uses Material UI and uh, it's pretty simple to install. Just go ahead and install using npm install React Aztec save and this is going to install the library as a dependency into your project. The basic usage is pretty simple. Okay, you could go ahead and uh, so React Aztec uses uh, a JSON schema to build dynamic forms okay and you could provide the type of uh, component you require there's a list of components which react as text supports that is text field select field checkbox radio toggle date picker time picker and autocomplete okay and you could just define the type to be text field and uh, an ID which uh, represents the unique ID of the form data okay and props props refers to the properties for the text field you could go ahead and uh, look into materialui.com for its respective properties for the text field so i've given floating label text to allow what's your name and the hint text name is required and at the bottom so what this is going to do is it's going to render a simple prompt so let's just show you an example here let me plot this uh, form data and move to the playground so you could just go ahead and uh, use the interactive playground to build your form and test out all the things and then migrate back to your application so let me move to switch to the text mode and copy this. and you see hello what's your name is uh, uh, the basic text field which is rendered right so let's move on to the next example and you could also use the form layout internally react aztec uses bootstrap 24 column grid layout okay and you can define the grid layout in the form of the XS refers to the small screen, uh, extra small screen, and SM refers to small screen, MD refers to medium screens, and LG refers to large screen. Right? And uh, by default, if you look at the example, I just go ahead and refresh it back. So you would see this the basic form rendered using the uh, layout uh, configuration provided. If you see beneath, you see that the layout is provided and it says row is one, X is column 12, and if you observe column three, and if you observe that it is picking column three. And if I go ahead and change this to six, this is going to change as six. So you see that the effect took place immediately. So let me revert back to three and you could go switch to your preview mode and just shrink the screen to see how the form appears right it's pretty awesome right so you got the form appearing on the small screen extra small screen how it does it look right so you could try this out and let me just switch back to the edit mode right and react aztec internally uses validator.js for its validation okay there's a quite extensive list of validation provided out of the box for you and you could sequentially apply the validations one by one so let's take an example on the playground right so I've applied rules validation and if you see there are mandatory rules applied to okay let me just skip this field and let's go to the text field and see the rules so just check the rules and mandatory field is applied and it says uh, error message to display please enter your first name so let me skip this and go you see this please enter, uh, please enter your first name and if you just go ahead and fill in the name let's say I'm going to fill in a chain and this field I just skip out of the field and you see this stuff error dis uh, disappears instantly right and you could also multi uh, apply multiple rules like let's take an example of postcode which is the last form item and let's see how many rules have applied here if you observe i've applied close to three rules that is the first rule is mandatory and second rule is numeric and if the value should be number the third rule is the length the length should be uh, equal to four okay if i just provide uh, an empty field and you see this value cannot be empty if I try to provide uh, a text and you see this the value uh, and move out you see this the value should be a number if I provide a number you see that if I provide four digit number it's fine and if I provide three digits the length should be four only this is how you could build dynamic form and you could just copy export the JSON out and you could paste onto your form application and this is going to work out of the box hope you liked it and try react Aztec for building dynamic forms. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.